In today's Touch Designer tutorial, we will be learning about how this moving pattern, which is so colorful in it, how it can be created. This design has been created by using the most basic and foundational blocks of the Touch Designer, and you would be wondering that in such a small list of components, how such kind of stunning designs can be created. So let's check it out. All right. So we all start with the noise shop. We go with 1024 by 1024 resolution and we put the period as 20. We set the amplitude to 1 and since we need the animation, so we're going to animate our noise with ABS time dot seconds multiply with 0.1. Once this is done, what we need more is another noise shop. So let's have another noise shop. This noise shop will have the same set of resolution. So let's go and set this resolution as 1024 by 1024. Let's leave all the properties as it is, but make sure we turn on the monochrome. And the moment we add first noise input to the second one, we start seeing the effect. Then we bring the edge. We do not change any settings at this point of time. We get the level top as well. We change the level top settings with gamma as 0.57, contrast as 2.12. Once this is done, let's get the RGB key. We set the RGB key with edge and then we bring the composite. So let's bring the composite and put the operation as overlay. And you can see some magic has already started happening. Well, it's still not bright, but we still have a couple of things to do. Let's bring the level. In this level, let's increase the contrast by two. And then we get the RGB key. Now let's go to edge and increase the sample size of edge to seven. And you can see the brightness has started coming up. Well, we can see that by changing the ABS time seconds parameter, we can slow down the movement of these circles or these lines. And if you want to make it more smooth, you can reduce it by more numbers. But yeah, at this point of time, it turns out to be perfect. So 0 0.09 is the best settings that I can ever get here. And let's increase the strength of the edge. It brings more brightness, and this is where our whole setup is done. You can bring, you can play around with a lot of changes. You can, you can change the sample size, you can do a lot. Well, this is just the beginning. With more changes, you can do a lot. You can change by this, and you can change it by this. There's a lot that you could do. Definitely, there are endless possibilities that you could create. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll come back to you with more such tutorials. Well, at this stage, if you like my short tutorial on Touch Designer's abstract art, then please do subscribe to my channel.